Hi, I'm Susan Brown, medical anthropologist and nutritionist, and I direct the Center for Better Bones. I spent a long time studying vitamin K, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about vitamin K that I think you'll find useful. It was only 50 years ago that vitamin K was discovered as a nutrient essential for proper clotting. Thus, K in German stands for coagulation. Early on, most attention was given to vitamin K1, phenylqualine, a form of vitamin K synthesized by green leafy vegetables. Later, it was discovered that vitamin K is really a family of compounds. In the last decade, attention has been given to the branch of the vitamin K family known as K2, the menaquinones. Vitamin K2 is produced by bacteria, Bac the same bacteria that ferments cheese or ferments the soy product called natto. Vitamin K2 can also be produced in the gut by our own bacteria. But as, a, but as an aside, the K2 that we produce in the gut, we are not able to absorb back into our system. Lately, there's been a lot to learn about vitamin K. In addition to being an essential coenzyme for coagulation, it is also a coenzyme required for the proper formation of two other proteins that regulate calcium trafficking and deposition. One, we know that vitamin K is essential for full development of the most important bone protein known as osteocalcin. Indeed, several studies, including the Framingham Heart Study, show an increased incidence of osteoporotic fractures amongst those with lower dietary vitamin K. Number two, vitamin K has also been found essential for the full activation of vessel wall protein known as matrix GLA. Matrix GLA is the major factor controlling arterial calcification. In this regard, all vitamin K is not equal. European research now suggests that vitamin K2, but apparently not vitamin K1, protects against cardiovascular disease and prevents arterial calcification. As it turns out, by these two calcium regulating actions, vitamin K is responsible for both keeping calcium in the bones and properly making sure that it does not get deposited in the arteries. Those are two very fascinating roles of vitamin K, keeping it in the bones, like the glue that keeps calcium in the bones, and the protective factor that keeps calcium out of the arteries. For more information on vitamin K and bone health, and for a list of food sources of vitamin K, please go to my website, betterbones.com. You can search for all our information on vitamin K at the Better Bones website. This is Susan Brown wishing you lifelong better bones and a better body.